Um, every part has got to be healthy and efficient. And when it functions perfectly, it's great. Um, when a bit goes wrong, you get in trouble. Um, and, you know, I played rugby when I was a young man. Uh, stupid thing to do. And I injured my knee. Um, but in my day, you just got a shot in your leg and you just carried on playing. Um, and the pain went. And stupid thing is, when you get in your 55s and 60s, you realize you shouldn't have played rugby when you were a young man because uh, age catches up with you. Um, but when you're in your 20s, you are indestructible. You, you learn. Life teaches you. And life's a, a good teacher. Uh, and I think that what people have done is they've disrelated life from what they do. Uh, and they forget that, you know, there's always consequences. Now, we need each other. Um, and one of the things, if people don't communicate, you get in bother. And um, I find communication's the whole person. Uh, I never trust someone who can adjust their voice but not their face. Uh, you know, there are certain people whose faces <coughs> never adjust. You can see a person in their face. And we all, with open face, behold the Lord. When a person's face is not open, you have trouble. Uh, liars, you can always tell a liar by their face. You can tell a lot of things by a person's face. When you're preaching, uh, often I look around, uh, and for some reason I'll spot a face. And the face reveals the soul. You can't hide it. You can't hide what's inside. People think they can. You can never do it. And uh, one of the things we have to understand is that fellowship is if we walk in the, in the light as he is in the light, that's Jesus, we have fellowship one with another. And you've got to be yourself, not what you think someone wants you to be. Um, I, I'm very much me, because I'm happy with me. In fact, I'm a very likable me to me, because I've always been me, and I don't want to be you. And I find people, they, 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 they give an image. God wants us to be real. You know, when you're real, you find out who you really are. And a lot of Christians, they're never who they are. They, they live with this mythological image that they try and portray. And, and it's demonic because it's deception and the father of lies is the devil. Now it doesn't mean they've got demons. Please, you know. But it, it's, it's just wrong. God doesn't want us not to be. And, and we need each other. But we need the real each other. Uh, we don't need the sanitized version. Do you know what I mean? You, you don't want every time you hug a person to smell dental. Um, <laughs> I can't, can't, I'm trying to think how to put it over in graphic enough words that you will understand. Um, but you, you, you just, I like a person to be who they are. You find they demand a lifestyle that isn't Christian at all. It meets their religious requirements. It's called legalism. 
And I hate it. Um, there's no such thing as isolation in the church. Now, don't ever say, you, you, you know, I, I know that when a man becomes isolated, he won't communicate. He's already gone way off God. Because when you isolate, you've lost life. Uh, and the way to know that someone's right with God, for me, is simple. They communicate. If someone stops communicating with me, I know they've stopped communicating with God. Because if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have one with another. So the moment someone stops, you know he's gone away from God. And, you know, it, that you, there, it won't be long before they're in every kind of foul thing. Now, we need everyone. We need each other. And every joint supplies and brings the work together. And, and if only you could get everyone to realize that their part is important, not only for everyone else's health, but for their own. Uh, and, and it's that which every joint supplies. And there's no way you can really get people to understand um, the strength of this church at the beginning. And the strength of the church for many years was the fact that we did not have fringe members. Everyone was committed. And they used to say, if you speak to one, you get the same answer from everyone. Everyone gave the same, because we believed the same thing. We were one mind, one heart. Now as the church grows, you get, um, well, one member from the early days called it the big influx. Um, you know, and, but you get more people coming. But there's people who are in the church who are not of the church. And, and that I hate. Uh, because I believe fellowship is so important uh, being part of of the whole it, it, you you have to provide and, and you know when people go wrong in their minds and in their hearts they they you can see it in their face and you know we've got to be with open face and church is about fellowship you know, envy, jealousy is kind of in the human heart. You know, what it's called is selfish ambition. Uh, it's not that I have anything. God lives in me. And it's not that I can do it. I can't. But he does. And, and you know... It's just stupid. Now, you need that which every joint supplies. And, and when you realize that if everyone fulfills the function and abilities that God's given them, you know, some people are given to hospitality. Some people are helps. You couldn't have a church like this if someone didn't do the building. 